Hello, Lumini here, and welcome to the sub to Raytheon run with Chargeblade. So I know I've been very, very busy lately, but I felt that a sub two against Raytheon with Chargeblade was at least important enough to warrant talking about. So first of all, got to get the rollout down. Um, the rollout's been kind of optimized at this point to where just quickly powder or seed and we'll do what I did. And then mount attack and then bam, peak performance and then straight into the uh, charge shield. In which case I managed to block the um, the tail flip via rolling through it. Um, granted not exactly the way I would have wanted it, but you know what, it still works out in my favor. Uh, I still managed to get the full hits. Now, right here, I managed to tell myself to be quite patient with my hits. Um, just a little thing that I will always attribute to Roku uh, with the stack of control. Like, it's important to actually wait out your hits and actually time them instead of just trying to go completely Oonga Boonga on it. In which case, like, if I went Oonga Boonga right there, then I would not have the opportunity to dunk Raytheon. Which is, of course, extremely important. Um, Obviously, more uh, air dunks equals more downtime, and honestly, like, Axe Ripper just does a disgusting, disgusting amount of damage, like, holy shit. Like, is this, is this even legal? <laughs> oh, but essentially how the fight goes is that I bait out as many of the, um, of the tail flips as possible by kind of getting slightly beneath her chin and then a little bit to her left. Um, if I'm behind her then chances are she'll start running, if I'm a little bit too far in front of her then she'll possibly hop back and do fireballs, so I wanted to try and influence her uh, doing the tail flip as often as possible. And then as for my skills, I ended up running my Agitator 3 charm just because a, I knew that this was probably the spawn that I was going to be fighting at most of the time, and so because 90% affinity is really like 50% affinity sometimes, <laughs> uh, that's why I decided to run Agitator to bump up those numbers, especially when she's enraged, because especially like, you know, after the first roar, she's pretty well enraged for the rest of the fight, which I felt helped make up for the damage, or at least it helps me make up for any sort of damage that I don't have compared to other people. But yeah um patience and timing is definitely what got the sub too so i want to thank y'all guys and i can't wait to see y'all again for the next run later